Yes, a people without a, a past and a people without knowledge of their history, origin and culture is like a tree without roots. If you haven't, haven't confidence in yourself, you are twice defeated in a race of life. But with confidence, you have won before you even started. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police channel to my loyal viewers and subscribers. Yes, if this is the first time to the channel, yes, click the like button. Yes, like the video. Yes, man, share the video. And most importantly, comment below. Yeah, join the video, um, the channel. At the channel, we are a group of law abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen, but not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because it saves lives. We at the Jamaica Young Police Channel is all about saving lives. Yes, that's what we're all about. Jamaica Young Police Channel does not traffic lies, propaganda, as it is not in our DNA. Whatever you hear here is the truth and nothing but the truth. We don't add hyperbole to whatever we are saying, you know, we don't exaggerate things, we just tell you as it is. Before we begin today's video, we at the Jamaica Young Police Channel want our audience and detractors to know that anything that we have said here that is incorrect, you can correct the same by reaching out to us and we will give you the chance to correct the same. To us, the first and foremost thing about us at this channel is our character, credibility and reputation. We have never slandered or defamed anyone's name on this platform. Whatever you are hearing is the truth. If the truth shall kill those who hate the truth, let it kill them. Remember that we said before, those who do not know the truth are fools and those who knew the truth and called it a lie is a depraved and criminal minded people. At the Jamaica Young Police Channel, we want our loyal viewers and subscribers to know that criminals are people with paranoid psychosis who often believe that the government is per persecuting them and that the police are trying to kill them when they are the ones who are killing others and believe that their lives is more important than their victims. Yeah, so you know in Jamaica, you know when you're a police officer, you know, you know that nobody have no respect for you, you know, anything like that. Because that's how it is in Jamaica, you know. Criminals in Jamaica are lauded, revered supported by the criminal by the criminals in government you understand and there's no mechanism that they put in place to protect the police officers and people are free to disrespect the police i saw a video even recently um today where you know someone was fling, fling a big stone maybe with four pounds and hit a policeman in his head and he fell to the ground that can you know cause a concussion serious injury you know brain damage to that police officer and you know how the system works in jamaica the police are the most hated government workers in jamaica by both political parties and their members the only politician in jamaica that i that from my perspective i have seen showing respect to the police was Damien Crawford and not one time Lambert Brown. I know because of Damien Crawford for his support of the police officers in Jamaica, you know he was sidelined by the PMP LGBTQ plus party under the leadership of Portia Simpson. Right now you're looking at you know um, members of the Jamaican government they're destroying some wrath in Ocherius. I don't know what's the reason behind it because you know the people there's complaining so you know more or less the government want to regularize it or something of the sort but you know some people don't take kindly in jamaica people do not like structure they don't like structure they're, they're very indisciplined they want to do do whatever they feel like to do and how dare you to do it so based on what they are doing you know to deal with the situation um you know this is a new threat that has been leveled against the police force and the military i know that the prime minister and his acolytes on both sides of his acolytes and in his party and people on the pmp lgbtq plus side 
the PMP in the people in the PMP LGBT plus side, they don't even care one iota about the security of the country. All they care about is power. They don't care who die. Once it's none of the no one that related to them. Not until someone who's related to one of these people, family, like their daughter or their son, get killed before they take this thing seriously. Just like how with Michael Manley back in the days, yes, when they kill his friend and he just popped two gunmen neck. Cause Michael Manley is totally He's a, he was a criminal sympathizer and a criminal enabler and if you know history you remember fed him up and borrow boy from my community of Jonestown so I want you to you watch you listen and you decide based on what these this man is saying I'm not uh, in this video I want you to listen because this is a threat to our to the security forces in Jamaica police and soldiers listen very very and I hope the government is taking it very seriously. But you know, police and soldiers are poor people, children. They don't care, you know, because they are, they, you know, they don't care. And you know, this Prime Minister, when it comes to these people, I know that some people who know me and they get upset, say I don't like the Prime Minister. Uh, listen to me, and I am going to be frank. He say if you do not like the police, don't expect me to like it. It's just simple as that. All right? We do not support criminals. In any shape or form. Yo, and when the man them go start fire shot from police and soldier, the man them are the raffin, and them are say a illegal raffin for bring tourists. Oh, it for illegal when a father God make the water, father God create the water for people eat food, and not the government water. So, oh, raffin. Fit illegal. I when I go start fire shot from police and soldier. The man them we rob the brinks. We don't deal with. You know, no, see the man them turn on. You know, think it, it, it simply, you know. From when I start fire shot from them are metropolitan. Metropolitan, I forget gunshot, you know. Them, I, fi, I want to go. Let's look go around one where the school where them picnic go. And take them, we take, we take with them picnic. Because since we our picnic has suffer, see them picnic have to suffer so, have to suffer too. We want to know the school where them picnic go, the police them picnic, and the metropolitan them picnic, and the boy them drive the wrecker. We want to know the whole of that. Just trail them, know which school them picnic go, know which part them wife work, and just do not do. You a time for the government low poor people and the police them come like some batty man everything the government say them run behind him i want to know you we tired of you black people rise up and walk. yes mr prime minister andrew Wallace. i hope you feel happy listening to that man because you're one of the persons one of the politicians in jamaica who have helped to contribute to this problem yes you're not free from blame you have one of them who have passed the Indicom Act. So you have empowered the criminals and you heard what he's saying now. So you guys now believe that because he's saying that you know he wants um, the criminals to go after police officers, children, soldiers, children, MPM, people who work with MPM, children, their wives, their husbands, and let them feel it. <laughs> you think that's and that is something funny that is terroristic behavior and you help contribute to it we know that the pmp lgbtq plus party they are head cook and buckle washer when it comes down to these kind of behavior but if something is not done about what is happening in jamaica it's only gonna get worse i have spoken to a man who's jamaican of jamaican background and he spent his entire life in Jamaica and he migrated about two weeks ago and he says that he's not going back there because Jamaica is a criminal's paradise and he had mentioned to me about the you know reminded me of a police officer who was killed Crystal Thomas I've never met her I don't know I've never worked with her and this man elderly man is from within once be a police here he said that he knew me and he have seen me and Bobby Reds and all kind of things uh, Bobby Reds was my partner when I was a police officer 
And the man stated that um, he had never dreamed that Jamaica politician would be siding with the criminals against the security force. He said he knows, he knew growing up in the 70s, Michael Manley was a champion for the criminals because he wanted votes and territory because everything in it is all about territory to control votes. But he never knew that he would live to see the day where the criminals in Jamaica are the ones who have more rights in Jamaica than the police officers. And he's very, very happy that his son, who was a police officer and used to work at Kansan Spring, it, was, it is his son that migrated from Jamaica and it is his son who petitioned and brought him to the, to the United States of America. And he said he has no plan on going back there because the politicians in Jamaica have failed the people. And you are one of them, Mr. Oldness. You, the PMP LGBTQ plus party, have failed the people a long time ago. So you hear what this man is saying now. So this is threat now to police officers, children, spouses, members of the military, members of MPM. So anyone who works within the government, this is a threat to all of them and their children. Just remember, you know. They, there's a saying that says fool me once, shame on you fool me twice, shame on me yes first they pass the Indicom Act and empower the criminals and they feel the criminals they feel powerful and the peep and the so called and the so called poor people are in discipline lazy, socialistic and they rejoice and the criminals get more powerful the police officers in Jamaica have no rights under the constitution and they rejoice the politicians on both sides of the aisles rejoice we put the boy them the, in them place them have a statement to indicate if they're not they end up with criminal record yes so first the criminals are here for the arrival and kill them Yes, the politician said nothing because they say that they are not involved in that kind of criminality. And they said that they are not in any gangs. Then the same criminals, then they came for the politician's neighbors. The politician said that, well, I am not related to my neighbors, so I am fine. The politician said nothing. They strengthen the Indicom Act and give the criminals more power. Then the criminals they start to threaten the security forces. The politicians did nothing or said nothing because they have no member of their family in the security force. So they said nothing. Then the gunmen they killed the, the security officers, members of the security force. The politician said nothing. Then the criminals went after the security forces, children, spouses, and people who are related to them, even their parents. And the politicians did not say anything because they are not related to members of the security force and none of your family members are members of the security force then the criminals will be coming after you when there's no one left and you realize that you're all by yourself all of you prime minister andrew Olness and every one of you politician you're the year coming just listen to this man. Just listen to this man. This is not the first that you're hearing this, you know. And you people are there sleeping at the wheel instead of passing laws to protect the police officers. You've been scuddling with the criminals. You cannot play with a cobra snake because you cannot tame it. And it's going to sting you guys. And remember, when you get sting, that's when it lights out. And you people think that you're doing a disservice to the police force because of the age that you have for them and they are the oppressor of the poor when all the poor's problem 
is caused by you people. You are the ones who have been encouraging them, cuddling them, enabling them, supporting them, and financing them with their criminality in Jamaica. Now the chicken is coming to roost. Police officers, as I, I have said, and I will continue to say to you all, try your very best to migrate from the criminal's paradise, Jamaica, and make yourself a better man or woman. These politicians do not care one iota about you guys. None of you. And I am telling you from personal experience. So all of you who are yeah, PMP soon come back in a power, we can't eat food and this and that. It's only going to get worse before it gets any better. And I don't see any, I don't see any light at the end of this tunnel. And the reason why I'm saying this as a former police officer, I have seen the promotion of several police officers to deputy superintendent and a majority of them are criminals. Yes, a major. somebody don't have to be convicted for a crime to be a criminal, you know. In my when it comes, I am not I'm not talking from a legal perspective, I'm talking from a human perspective, a citizen perspective. If somebody involved in criminality, they are criminal, they don't have to be convicted. But I am not calling anyone names that this person is a criminal. You have police officer who was constable, um po uh, oh, police officer who was constable, be a foot constable. Oh we him get money for bail and a Beverly Hills. I I'm not bad minding them, I love when police make money. You understand? Our oh, police officer, you get you put him back in a uniform because of corruption, then you promote him to officer, to gasset officer, so he must still uh, commit more crime. There's no there's no deterrence and all that thing there. So I'm just, uh, it's a police force of those criminals. Young police officer, just listen to me. Your time to leave the police force is now. Don't stay. I hear what this man is saying. Because they know that you know when they kill police officer in Jamaica. It's like another day. The only people that feel it is a policeman's family and his co-worker. The politician, they don't care about you one iota. Always remember that. And it's a sad day. Thanks for listening to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. Jamaica Young Police Channel, out.